Magandang araw, oras na para sa pinakabagong balita sa lagay ng panahon at sa mundo ng science and technology. Ako po si Jel Miranda and we welcome you to DOS TV, Science for the People. Nandito pa rin po tayo sa Tacloban City upang ihatid sa inyo ang mga kaganapan sa isinagawang pagdiriwang ng 23rd founding anniversary ng Philippine Science High School, Eastern Visayas Campus. Abangan lahat ng yan dito lang sa DOS TV, Science for the People. At nandito na tayo sa loob ng Yolanda Memorabilia Bus. At makakasama natin sa pagkakatawang ito si Miss Melanie Lynn Calope, ang librarian ng Pisay EVC. Magandang araw po, ma'am. Good morning din po. Alright, ma'am. Uh, kwentuhan niyo kami paano nabuo itong bus na to. Okay. Um, actually, yung collection, lahat ng collection dito was originally initiated by a Japanese librarian okay. from Assistive Technology Development Organization. And um, during our conference here in Philsai EVC, um, gusto niyang gumawa kami, uh, mag-collect ng mga stories. Mm -hmm. So, she, uh, he was the one who initiated all of this from stories only. But then, uh, we thought of, as librarians, mm -hmm. um, we have here the, the librarian from... Na from National Maritime Polytechnic, okay. the Chief Librarian of Visayas State University, and our President of the Ply Eastern Visayas Region Librarians Council. Mm -hmm. um, lahat po kami ng mga librarians, we collected some stories. We got all the drawings from um, the S S Santo Nino Sped Center. Mm -hmm. They are drawings from children na ginawa ding um, stress debriefing okay. ng mga teachers for Yolanda affected children. And um, we also collected photos, pictures, videos, and um, we, we, conducted, we conducted poster making contest. Okay. Um, the theme is something about Yolanda, okay. so we included them in our memorabilia. So, yun po. So, yun to, nagtutur ba itong bus na ito, ma'am? Uh, before. Before okay. Yolanda, nagtutur ito. Uh -huh. But then, na-damage siya, na, na lubugan ng mm -hmm. um, flood during mm -hmm. Yolanda. Mm -hmm. So, hindi na siya, hindi na siya uh, gumagana. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, lahat na makikita natin dito sa loob, from different uh, students ba to, o maging sa mga faculty members din, or maging sa mga communities na nakapaligid dito sa Pisay? Lahat na po. 
all Eastern Visayas okay. effort, a collaborative okay. effort of librarians, students from Philsai, teachers, um, uh, persons with disabilities, um, senior citizens. Opo. Kasi we, we also launched the show and tell, Yolanda, Yolanda show and tell stories last um, October 2016. Uh, 2016 um, together with the uh, persons with disabilities we we invited them to to tell all their stories about Ilanda so anong pinaka main objective ng pagbuo nitong uh, memorabilia bus na ito um, actually um, lahat ng mga collection namin from stories to pictures to videos we decided to make an archive of all the data that we gathered. So, yun para siya ma-preserve. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, as, as, because this is one um, part of memory. It's a national, it's a national tragedy. It's, mm -hmm. it, I, it's an international event, disaster. Mm -hmm. It's one of historic um, disaster that happened the whole world so we need to to keep all the memories because there will come a time that babalik and then yes, there will yes. come another disaster yes mm -hmm. it's it's one way of showing that um, people from eastern visayas are very resilient when it comes to moving forward building back better para siyang maliit na gallery eh, no? museum yeah. gallery. So lahat ng mga uh, storya ah, pwede nating makita at different pictures ngayon makikita natin dito sa loob. And then there are some artworks na gawa ng mga estudyante dito ma'am. Mm -hmm. So nagkakonduct din kayo ng different activities mismo sa loob ng bus? Um, hindi pa. Okay. Uh, maybe in the future we can conduct storytelling okay, yes. uh, for mm -hmm. children. Yes, mm -hmm. as one um, part of uh, activities of Yolanda okay. Bus. So after I think four years, tama ba pa? After nung uh, tumama oh, yeah. ang uh, bagyong Yolanda dito sa inyong uh, lugar, sa palagi nyo ba tamang tama na itong panahon na to para at least na maramdaman na natin na fully recovered na tayong lahat? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Po. Mm -hmm. Opo. This is one way of showing everyone that we have moved forward. Mm -hmm. Opo. Do you have any more messages nilang ma'am? Um, para sa para sa lahat ng mga na 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 ano ng disaster those who have experienced disaster um, just keep moving forward um, ga, merong merong magaguide sa iyo kahit na may somebody an instrument na matutulong sa sa inyo sa lugar sa lahat ng mga tao at you will stand up strong yun lang po and we also acknowledge um, the Japanese librarian, Mr. Hiroshi Kawamura, for, for helping us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you also for coming. And thank you rin po sa ating mga nakasama nating other librarians dito sa Memorabilia Bus o Yolanda Memorabilia Bus. Ang nakasama po natin, of course, si Ms. Melanie Lynn Calope, ang librarian po ng Pisay EVC. Si Hilary Den Andales, isang grade 12 student dito sa Philippine Science High School, Eastern Visayas Campus. Ako po ay nananawagan ngayon at inaanyayahan ko kayong suportahan po ang aking entry para sa competition 2017 Breakthrough Junior Challenge. Ngayon po ako ay nakaabot sa top 30 o sa semifinals ng competition ito out of thousands of entries around the world. And kailangan ko po ng inyong suporta sa pamamagitan ng likes and shares upang umabot yung entry ko sa finals o sa top 6 ng Breakthrough Junior Challenge. To support my entry, please click the link down below and you will find there my entry on the Breakthrough Facebook page. And the, you, the votes that count are positive reactions and shares such as love reactions, haha reactions, wow, and likes. Last year po nagawa natin ito, nakakuha tayo ng 40,000 votes as in 40,000 likes and shares at, napa, at umabot po ako sa top 6 ng competition last year. So ngayon po, nananawagan po ako na gawin po natin ito ulit at sana ay makaabot na po tayo sa tagumpay ngayong taong ito. So salamat po and I hope masusuportahan niyo po ako ngayon sa, sa pagsali ko sa competition ito ngayon. Exactly what number is this? She says it's six. She says it's nine. So who's right?
actually, they're both right. They just saw it differently since they looked at it from different reference frames. Now, what exactly are reference frames? These are just a set of axes for locating space and a clock for measuring time, relative to which you make observations. I'll demonstrate. Once this car starts honking, all three observers will record its sound. But sound is a wave. Waves from a moving source, like the car, get bunched up in front and looser at the back. So for our case, those behind the car should hear the loose sound wave, a low pitch, while those in front should hear a high pitch sound. When I analyzed the recordings, that was exactly what I found. So what sound was the car really making? A high pitch sound? A medium pitch sound? Or a low pitch sound? Well, it was really making all three pitches at the same time each pitch relative to one observer. Then what if we had infinitely many observers? Then the car would be making infinitely many sounds, each sound relative to one observer. And even if they all disagreed, no one observer is wrong. What each observes is what the sound is. Similarly, if I throw this ball close to the speed of light, its light waves would also get loosened and bunched up, making it appear as different colors. With infinitely many observers, the ball would appear to be all colors at the same time, each color relative to one observer. So sound and light are relative. Ever heard of time being relative? Consider a light clock with two mirrors and a photon bouncing between them. Every time the photon hits the bottom mirror, it's one tick of time. So when I start moving, I see it travel in vertical lines. But from your stationary frame, it travels in Vs. So, since the photon has to travel a longer distance and the speed of light is constant, each tick takes longer relative to you. So, moving clocks run slower, and the faster you run, the slower your clock ticks. So, in Olympic races, Usain Bolt is actually the best time traveler. If he ran at 96.8% the speed of light and took 10 seconds to finish a race according to his clock, a stationary judge would record 40 seconds, to which he would obviously object. But their argument would be pointless since time is relative. So the really mind-blowing idea here is that observers in different frames will perceive different versions of the same reality. And every observer's frame is equally valid. So before you start making any observational arguments with others, first imagine yourself observing through their reference frame. <laughs> At makakasama po natin sa pagkakataong ito si Mr. Carlo Cris Apurillo, ang Chief ng Curriculum and Instruction Division ng PSHS EVC. Magandang araw, sir. Hi, magandang araw. Mm -hmm. Alright, sir. Explain mo sa amin itong lugar na ito. Ano ba ito? Uh, ito na yung lab na nirefurbish para sa uh, pagkapanalo ni Hillary mm -hmm. sa Breakthrough Junior Competition. Yes. So, ang makikita nyo dito ay ang lab na na uh, in-sponsor na rin ng Breakthrough Junior Competition para sa PSHS EVC. Mm -hmm. So dito sa labas, makikita niyo ang setup ng, ng mga lab tables. Uh -huh. Sa kanila na ang design na yan, mm -hmm. we're working with the, ano, we're working with the uh, Cold Spring Harbor DNA Laboratory na nakabase sa New York. Okay. Sila ang um, uh, partner ng Breakthrough Junior Competition. So sila na rin ang nagbigay ng designs ng mga tables na yan. And uh, November 13 to 18, magkakaroon kami ng training sa paggamit ng mga equipment kasi most ng mga equipment nila ay for DNA analysis mm -hmm. and then for DNA experiments also and DNA studies. So pupunta sila dito at magtitrain ng, mga, ng 24 teachers. Okay. Most of them uh, coming from the PSHS system. So, balikan lang natin, sir, magkano yung kabuuan nung uh, nag-grant kay Hillary? Yung nag-grant kay Hillary ay $100,000. Okay. Uh, that's including the equipment uh -huh. and the refurbishment of the lab. Uh -huh. So, lahat yun. Uh -huh. Yung mga equipment na iba ay padating pa lang, pero yun na rin ang gagamitin namin sa training. So, by November 13, nandito na yun ng mga equipment. Alright, ayan, ikutin din natin, ano, kasi dito sa... Itong kwarto na ito, yung papasukin natin, nandito yung mga equipment na paglulugaran ng mga darating pa lang. And yeah. Pero meron namang existing, sir. Yeah. Okay? Kasi bago pa man, um, man nag-grant kay Hillary yung sa DNA lab, mm -hmm. meron na rin kaming equipment 
uh, for DNA okay. studies. Although hindi pa siya ganun ka-complete. So, yung nandito ngayon ay mga equipment na ginagamit namin okay. for, for DNA um, experiments. Okay. Hmm. So, ano na ito, sir? Uh, ito ay hindi okay, talaga ito para sa molecular bio. This is more of a plate reader. Uh, okay, ito. Micro titer plates. Ito ang washer, ito ang reader niya. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ito, simula dyan, lahat yan ay already for DNA analysis or okay. for DNA experiments. Mm -hmm. This one is a homogenizer. So, ang gamit niyan ay pag-break ng mga cell walls ng, ng mga samples mm -hmm. para lumabas ang DNA. Mm -hmm. And then ito, no? ito ay refrigerated mi microcentrifuge para pag nag-isolate na ng DNA, so um, maliliit na tubes ang, ang ipapasok dyan and then uh, ginagamit siya for DNA extraction. Okay. And then ito, marami, marami pa tayong nakikitang equipment dito sa loob ng laboratory. No? And um, basically, more on testing talaga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ang marami na kaming magagawa dito kasi kung makikita niyo yung red na yan, it's a thermocycler. So yan ang ginagamit for polymerase chain reaction. Okay. Bibigyan pa rin kami ng isa pang thermocycler mm -hmm. ng... ng BJC. Okay. And then, marami pa rin ay dadagdag na equipment para mas maging uh, functional ang, ang lab, ang molecular bio lab namin. Mm -hmm. So, hanggang kailan maghihintay, sir? Ibig sabihin, para mabuo lahat nung, uh, uh, kumbaga, price ito, eh, di ba? Para okay. na ipagkaloob dito sa inyong skwelahan. Um, ano na lang naman, uh, ina-expect na namin ang equipment first week of November. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, gusto na nilang matuloy na rin ang training sa November 13, and um, nakabook na nga ang tickets nila papunta dito. So, dapat nandito ng equipment by that time. So, ito mga nakikita natin, existing na ito, sir, sa mga nakaraang pang uh, dating nyo ng lab. Okay. So, pero tuloy-tuloy pa rin yeah. yung mga paggamit nito. Yeah. At dad, magdadala rin sila ng mga reagents na ginagamit dito kasi yun ang mahal. Uh -huh. Although, meron tang equipment, pag wala kayong reagents, medyo napapamahal para sa mga students na nagre-research sa DNA. Uh -huh. So, pagkatapos nito, pwede na kaming makagamit ng DNA for DNA barcoding, uh -huh. gene cloning, pwede nang makagawa ng mga ganun. Uh -huh. So, ngayon, mga estudyante ang pwedeng gumamit. Paano yung mga nasa labas? Are they, ano ba, for free to use? Yung mga pwedeng, siguro yung mga nag-aaral din ng uh, pwedeng uh, gamitin itong mga laboratory, may equipment na nandito? Uh, dito sa PSHS, sa BC at sa lahat din naman ng PISAY, ang aming labs ay open para okay. sa lahat. Mm -hmm. So, kung gusto nilang magpatulong at gumamit ng aming lab, pwede rin kasi yun din ay isa sa aming mandate sa pag-promote ng science and technology. So, pwede talaga silang pumunta dito at makigamit ng aming mga equipment. Mm -hmm. Sa ngayon nga lang, ang hindi lang namin may share <laughs> sa kanila, sa katotohanan lang, yung mga reagents na ginagamit dito because yun ang medyo mahal. Okay. Oo. Pero kung meron sila noon at makikigamit lang sila ng equipment, that's walang problema sa amin. Uh -huh. eh, Siyempre sa mga estudyante dito, di ba, paano natin mamamonitor, matututukan talaga bawat isa or paano ba yung control natin dito sa loob? Uh, ang lab na to, kung makikita nyo, ang building na to ay nakahiwalay okay. sa main building namin. Kasi ang, ang usually lang, ang pupunta lang dito ay ang talagang mga grades 11 and 12 na. Uh -huh. So senior high. So uh -huh. sila ay medyo trained na in terms of handling ng mga equipment. At every time naman na nandito sila, may nagsusupervise sa kanila mm -hmm. na, ano, na science research specialist namin. At pati na rin teachers. Kaya makikita nyo rin na ang faculty room ng teachers ay nandyan lang sa labas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yun. So ano masasabi nyo sir na talagang parang humbaga, biyaya ito para sa inyo eh. Hindi lahat ng mga eskwelahan na pagkakalooban ng ganito mga facility. Yeah, talagang napakalaking biyaya ito para sa amin. No? Pero uh, come to think of it, after Yolanda, marami na rin kaming biyayang natanggap in terms of laboratory equipment. Uh, just to share with you, after Yolanda, lahat ng aming equipment ay nasira. And then years after, naibalik lang namin ang aming lab because there were so many people na nag-donate at nagbigay ng ano. At syempre, budget din from the government. And ito pa na pagkapanalo ni Hillary. So nakadagdag talaga sa capacity din ng school to do more researches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At napakasarap sa pakiramdam na naramdaman natin yung pagbangon ng inyong lugar, hindi ba? Dahil alam natin kung gaano kalaking dilubyo ang dumating sa inyo. Yeah, and uh, syempre, hindi, namin dun, hindi rin namin talaga yun magagawa without the help of other people. And we are very thankful for that. And we consider we ourselves very blessed. At yun ang palagi naming sinishare. Kasi kung pupunta kayo ngayon at medyo nakikita nyo na medyo ganito ng setup namin, it's because of the help that we got from so many people. And for that, we are very thankful. Mm -hmm. Do you have any more messages, sir? 
Um, I think uh, uh, I just want to thank, uh, gusto ko lang magpasalamat sa lahat ng tao na tumu tumulong sa amin at patuloy pa rin tumutulong sa amin uh, sa pagbangon from Yolanda. At nakikita nyo naman na after years ng, ng Yolanda, bumalik na ulit ang, ang lab namin at we, we have again the capacity to do more and we were able to bring back something better after Yolanda. Mm -hmm. So yun lang. So sala pasalamat sa lahat ng tumutulong. At syempre, of course, sa, sa DOST family na hindi talaga pinabayaan din ang PSHS EVC. Mm -hmm. Meron ba mga next uh, Hillary na uh, talagang susunod, susunod ikaw nga sa yapak ni Hillary na kikita kayo? Marami naman dyan na susunod pa kay Hillary. Uh, kasi uh, marami naman talagang magagaling na bata dito. Tapos ngayon nga, si Hillary may part 2 pa ulit. So hindi namin, uh -oh. sabi nga ng BJC, kung manalo ulit si Hillary, saan ba ibibigay uh -oh. ang lab? Uh -oh. So sabi namin na, hindi naman yun problema kasi maraming kaming kampuses. Uh -huh. May mga bago kaming kampuses. Kung hindi may bibigay sa amin, then pwedeng maibigay uh -huh. din sa kanila if it's the same lab. Uh -huh. Kasi ang parang, although usually ang field ni Hillary ay physics, ang binibigay kasi nila na lab is molecular bio lab. Uh -huh. Kasi ang kanilang partner ay Cold Spring Haven DNA Laboratory. Alright, thank you so much and congratulations, sir. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Ayan, mga kaibigan, nakasama po natin si Mr. Carlo Cris Aporillo mula pa rin sa PSHS EVC. DOS TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano, Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSMBFI Building, 318 Santolan Road, West Crame, San Juan City. CITEV, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news, views, and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.citev.net. And that's it for today. For more information, just log on to www.dostv.ph and visit our social media accounts. Abangan din ang update sa lagay ng panahon mula sa DOST Pag-asa tuwing alas 5 na umaga at alas 5 na hapon. Always remember, in progress, science is the key. Kaya sabay-sabay tayong makiisa at gamitin ang siyensya. Kami ang DOSTV, the program that delivers science for the people.